next story started with a tip from a viewer. Susan Schwader says that uh, her cell service went from fine to infuriating when she moved. But that was nothing compared to the sticker shock over a $1,900 phone bill. After getting nowhere with Sprint for weeks, this mother of a daughter with a seizure disorder turned to us. And the CBS2 Morning Insiders got results. And it dropped to call four times on my dad. That sums up Susan Schwader's experience with cell phone service after moving 10 miles from McHenry to Richmond. So my dad finally said, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I can't stay on your phone. So bucking the trend of 2019, Susan added a home phone because her cell service was so spotty. Doctors need to be able to get a hold of me. After working with Sprint to try to improve the signal, Susan gave up and says the phone company told her to send the equipment back. She said, no, there won't be any fees. You've tried. It's because of network. It'll be no problem. But no fees turned into. And then I look at my bill online and there's a $1,900 charge. And I'm, I call it right away. I'm like, wait. Sprint eventually knocked the bill down to $1,365, but won't budge from that. So I kept calling several times, a couple times a day, because I'd be either hung up on, told there's nothing they're going to do. Throughout her ordeal, Schwader kept impeccable notes, even creating a spreadsheet of all her interactions with Sprint. Shaniqua is 11-23-2018. Ben... 12-6. With detailed names and dates and promises made. I've been lied to through this process. Being hung up on by management, not okay. Susan also tried social media, summing it up here. I've been on the phone with you guys almost every other day since November, but nothing worked. This is T-Mobile phone. Schwader has since switched carriers and now has reliable cell service, but that $1,300 Sprint bill still lingers. To be treated the way I was treated and be charge these charges when I've done everything they told me to do. Right after we got involved, Schwader got a call from a Sprint executive who reduced her bill to zero. Obviously, she's thrilled to finally be off the hook, but she was frustrated she had to waste so much time to finally get action.